Let's talk about it. Good old sweet revenge. Revenge is healthy. Um, what you've worked hard for, uh, you get a bigger benefit to kind of rub it in people's face. Um, I'm not talking about the overboard revenge. I'm not talking about anything like that. Uh, you know, I'm just talking about um, the sweet revenge, the, the kind that you put in effort and your, uh, the goals that you meet um, and accomplish, you get to um, experience the power that it brings to get everybody that didn't believe in you uh, back with just kind of showcasing what uh, what you can do, uh, especially in the sport of basketball. As a professional basketball player, you work hard. Mac has worked hard um, to get to where he's at. It seems like he has to work uh, overtime just to get noticed. Um, and he doesn't have a lot of room for error. And to um, get cut uh, from Chicago, Golden State, uh, Philadelphia, and, um, you know, just not get an opportunity from Orlando yet uh, when he's well deserving of it. He, he's the only Osceola player that can really do anything. He, he's shown uh, what he can do, his speed, his uh, shooting abilities, his abilities to drive and kick out and be a true point guard um, and get those assists, uh, you know, and also be a defender, get steals. Um, you're just not going to find that and a lot of players, they don't play both sides of the court. They're not well-rounded players. He can literally jump out of the gym. It's crazy. Um, but to get cut four times and people to, ex I mean, what do you expect from a guy like Mac McClung? Like, do you want him to um, invite Doc Rivers over for Thanksgiving and, uh, give him some mean apple pie and just chat, like, no, I, you know, it, it's, it's not expected for Mac to do something like that. It's expected for Mac every time he goes against Doc Rivers team just to annihilate them, to talk trash, to to showcase what he missed out on. Oh, your words, I, I remember those and I'm bringing it to you every single time we, we, we go against each other. Uh, his former team, he, he didn't get an opportunity because he was injured. Uh, but the Osceola Magic, every time they played the Delaware Blue Coats, he makes them, you know, regret getting rid of him and just puts it to him, drops 40, just, just goes crazy. And every single NBA team that has done him wrong for him to just go at their throats, man. To just ball it up, play his best basketball, drop drop triple doubles, just just showcase what they're missing out, and and they didn't take that opportunity with him. That's the type of revenge that Mac McClung is going to give when he makes an NBA roster. He's going to give it. Not that little, oh, 
here's a five day contract. No, he's going to get a contract and he's going to take it to them. This is what you missed out. Everything I've worked on, everything, all my supporters, I'm going to show them that, you know, they have my back and this is the reason why. Bam! This is the revenge arc. He, I mean, he's, he's not going to have uh, former teams over for his birthday and give them some cake and ice cream. He's going to bring it to them. He's not that type of player. He has that dog in him. You know, revenge is necessary. This type of re revenge is bittersweet, and we want it. We're here for it. This is it. 